Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And um, I just want to say again to Betty Ty, congratulations on your daughter's nomination. And we so appreciate uh, you being here today. And you've raised a very smart and talented daughter. And she's going to be very busy. So I, at least I hope she's going to be very busy. I'd like to follow on kind of the point that Senator Cornyn was making, which is I'm, I'm done with the Trump administration uh, approach to trade. I feel like when I look at the analytics there, Moody Analytics estimated that the trade war caused China nearly, with China caused us nearly 300,000 American jobs, that US companies lost 1.7 trillion in the price of their stocks as a result. JP Morgan estimates the trade war cost American households between six hundred and a thousand dollars per year. So I'm hoping that you and the Biden administration are going to embrace a new trade regime. And while I mentioned to you, I'm all for enforcement, I'm all for capacity building. I've spent many, many hours of my time getting those into aspects of the USMCA and other agreements. We cannot just be about those aspects. We have to be for opening up new markets. And I hope that uh, you will take that back to the Biden uh, team and uh, answer some questions today about uh, you know, what we can do to opening up uh, those markets. So particularly, uh, my colleague uh, just mentioned India. What can we do to open up the Indian market to US apples and reduce the horrific uh, tariffs that are on those apples, particularly with the Trump administration terminating the GSP program. And so it is basically, uh, you know, when would the Biden administration restore India's GSP status and help us uh, with Apple exports? Senator Cantwell, it's uh, great to see you today. Um, I really enjoyed our conversation earlier and I've taken away from it um, your interest in apples and aircraft uh, and for the US to be at the top rung of the ladder, uh, which um, in my interpretation means uh, your interest in the US leading um, uh, on trade uh, around the world. Um, on your question on uh, GSP in India, um, let me just say that uh, if confirmed, um, this is very high on my radar um, coming from uh, the Hill, uh, as I will be, uh, to USTR. Um, and I don't have a good answer for you right now uh, for lack of having good uh, briefing just by virtue of being on the outside, but it's something that I look forward to uh, engaging with you on robustly. When China joined the WTO in 2001, it agreed to a tariff rate on uh, on wheat, so it committed to imports of up to 9.64 million tetric tons of wheat. Um, and as a, as a result, um, they haven't quite, they definitely haven't made that. And there are other markets in, in Southeast Asia, like Vietnam, Indonesia, that also offer great potential. So what will the Biden administration do to help us increase uh, wheat exports in Asia overall? So um, uh, I know that uh, uh, wheat is a particular interest uh, for Washington State as well, um, and um, uh, you know, part of the agricultural uh, and agricultural trade uh, agenda for the Biden administration uh, will be to help um, American agriculture, American farmers build back better as well, and trade will be a tool in that, uh, I'm quite confident. Um, I did want to take an opportunity to address um, 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 something that you had said earlier about um, concerns that um, the Biden administration will uh, stand still on trade. Um, and I just wanted to take this opportunity uh, to share with you that um, to the extent that I have been um, uh, uh, privy to conversations conversations or um, have been um, uh, made aware of the Biden administration's outlook. I don't, I, I don't expect, if confirmed, to be put on the back burner at all. Great. Great. Well, I'll tell your mom right now. I'll be right behind you, pushing you, OK? Because I come from a trading state, and I believe that we live in a global economy. I want to talk to you about digital trade. But the notion that you know the last four years is a way to approach this, it's not. I believe trade changes culture. So I'm with Senator Cornyn. We should be engaging. As I said to you, I'm glad you remember, we should be on the top rung of the ladder discussing what a trade regime when 95% of consumers live outside of the United States. Can I just ask you one last thing about the European uh, issue on Airbus? Will you prioritize reaching agreement on commercial aircraft subsidies to end European uh, uh, subsidies and tariffs? Senator Cantwell, this um, dispute has been going on since, I believe, 2005, 2006. Um, 
uh, it is arguably um, one of the disputes uh, that started to break the WTO dispute settlement system. Uh, I think that uh, between the US and the EU, um, uh, if confirmed, um, uh, I would very much be interested in figuring out, um, if, pardon the pun, how to land this particular plane because it has been going on for a very long time. Well, I think, you know, leaning into the regimes that we do have and making them work seems like a really positive thing to be doing to me. And then again, going back and opening up markets for U.S. products. I think this is what you'll hear from all my colleagues today because we do believe, as my colleague from Michigan said, that we do make and grow things and we'd like them to reach new opportunities. Thank you.